Bill Gowdy checking in. Yes, yeah, sir. Today we're gonna have a new adventure. Today we're gonna cook up one of my staples. We're gonna cook it up in the cast iron kettle in the Dutch oven. Uh, yep, a cabbage soup. Yeah, it's gonna be tomato based. Yeah, and it's gonna be, you know, uh, mainly, no, it's gonna be all vegetables. And uh, very good for you. Yeah, I'm still losing weight. I've still dropped that pant size and still continuing. So, uh, uh, you know, it's working. It's working for me. Yes, it is. Working out and um, eating proper. Yep. I'd love to get the priority straight, but, uh, you know, it's early in the day. And um, I'm going to make this soup and uh, I'll make enough that um, it'll last for a couple days. And uh, you can eat it anytime you want. And uh, it's virtually, uh, it's all complex carbs because it's all vegetables. And uh, tomato juice and water uh, as a base. And um, hey, it's really good. But the first thing you're going to need, yep, yep, you're going to need a campfire. Yep, and I got just happened to have one going. And we'll get the kettle going. I'll show you the ingredients and uh, we'll get to cooking. Shall we get to cooking? Let's get to cooking, shall we? Check it out. So here's what you're going to need. Tomato juice, no added sweeteners. Yeah, that's what you want. 100% juice. It could be a uh, vegetable juice. It doesn't matter whether it's uh, what brand it is. You want some Rotel chunk. You need some water. And you need cabbage. Uh, I like purple and regular cabbage. And there's some bell peppers and onions and all that in there. And of course you'll need, well, you'll need a Dutch oven. Of course you'll need a Dutch oven. I get a lot of questions about this. This is an eight quart Texport. Yep, I use this chain to hold it over the fire. And uh, we'll drop the vegetables in and the water and the tomato juice. First we drop the vegetables in. We got the Rotel. About, oh, about half of this this container, this is a uh, 64 ounces, so about 32 ounces of, of tomato concentrate juice. A little bit more. It'll cook down a little and you'll get a little water from the vegetables. And actually, you can pour that whole thing in there if you want. If, if you want more tomatoes, it really won't matter. Well, I put about a half in. And then add the two things of water. Cover all the vegetables. Now, as we cook this, we may add more water as, as it cooks down. We, you could have it as a stew and let it cook down, or you can keep it like a soup, like I'm doing. So uh, now we add it to the fire. So this is my tripod, and uh, I get a lot of questions about it as well. And I've had it for many years. It's just three pieces of metal. I don't know if you can see the top part or not. Uh, the metal is bent and uh, it just forms a tripod with a little S hook in the middle and I use a chain to suspend. And I, you, as you can see everything's a little bit damp. We had a little fog this morning so 
it's not a real hot fire, which is okay. It won't matter because I'm going to slow cook this. It's going to simmer that. And simmer that all day. Stir it occasionally. We'll check on it. See how it goes. So let's check our uh, soup. It's been on about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. And uh, we'll see what she's doing here. Yeah, just a light simmer. It's simmering pretty good. It's bubbling here a little bit on the side. Plenty of juice in there. No sticking. Yeah, it's looking good. Let's check this out. That was the bowl of this. I think it's ready cooking all afternoon. Oh yeah, she's boiling a little harder than I want her to. Kick that fire back a little bit. Oh yeah, nice and tender. Still plenty juicy though. I mean, uh, it's a little bit thick. You can water that down a little if you wanted to. But it don't, it's not sticking looking good. Let's try some. Oh man, is that hot. I'm going to back that fire off a little. Put that fire over on the downwind side. You can hear it. You can hear it boiling in there. You can hear it. Uh, you can hear it slowing down, just like that. if you can see that or not it's just a beautiful day it's a beautiful evening a late afternoon actually and uh, man oh man does that look good huh wow I just love the cabbage man I just love that oh, the tomato it's real tomatoey yep mmm it is hot. It is good. It has the campfire flavor. And I'm getting skinny. Yeah, I can have that anytime I want. As much as I want. It, it's awesome. It really is. And, and, and it's easy to adapt over regular recipes over to the outdoor cooking. I'm telling you. That is good. I appreciate everything you guys do. Man, all the subs, all the questions. It's just, uh, all the comments, it's just awesome. Really, really, just awesome. Bill Gaddy out. Thank you so much.